Well, welcome back. And this is the second part of the CSS Sprite tutorial. We're going to take that uh, image that we put together in Fireworks and put it to work as a uh, rollover image in Dreamweaver. Now, those of you that do use uh, Dreamweaver, this technique may not be exactly the way you do it. Uh, I understand that. There are a thousand ways to do in everything in this application. This is one of them. And the way I look at it is what I tell my students. In the final analysis, nobody cares how you did it. They just care that it works. So let's get started. I have opened up one of the templates in Dreamweaver and added an unordered list right here, Fireworks and Dreamweaver. And you can see it's an unordered list. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a, a base class off the uh, UL tag and then just start building on it. So let's get to work. So I open up the uh, CSS styles panel. And the first thing we're going to do is just create that base class. So it's going to be ul.rune. So that's what we're going to build off of. Click OK. And the only thing we're going to do with it is we're going to get rid of the bullets that are here. And you do that with uh, setting the list style type to none. Click OK. And now that we've done that, we've got to assign that class to the uh, UL tag. So we'll just click anywhere uh, in Fireworks or Dreamweaver. And then just click once on the UL tag right here uh, in the uh, interface. And then come to Class. Scroll down, there's Rune. And you notice it's gone. Okay, now the magic starts to happen because what we're going to do is we're going to build upon this class that we've just created and throw in that image. Now to get do that, what you do is you create a new CSS rule, make sure that it's a compound. And again, it's going to be ul.rune. Only this time, we're going to look for a list inside the Rune. Click OK. And we click on background and the magic now starts to happen. So you're going to browse over to the image that you've created. I've got it in a folder here, Runes PNG. Remember, this is the one we created. Click Choose. And if you click Apply, you can see there it is, and it just goes in tiled. Now what we're going to do is give it a background and a background position on the X and the Y axis, 0, 0, which is kind of where it starts. But the one thing we are going to do is turn off the repeat for the uh, background repeat. And if you click Apply, you can see now we've got just the two images. Click OK. And now what we're going to do is pop into this class and spread them out. So just double click this new, t new uh, rule and open up the box. And what we're going to do to spread them out is just add a little padding. So you can, uh, same for all, deselect that. Now the words are over the uh, image, so what we want to do is just sort of get them over to the side. Now these are about 52, 53 pixels wide, so let's try moving it over, say about 65 pixels. If I click Apply, oh that works. Now what we're going to do is just add a little bit of um, padding, and we're going to add padding to the top and the bottom. So we'll give it 20 pixels at the top, none on the right, and maybe 15 on the bottom. And we click Apply, and it spreads out quite nicely. Click OK. Now that we've got that done, we're going to have to create classes for Fireworks and Dreamweaver. And to do that, what you do is you add a new rule, and it's going to be ul.runeli.fw. And we'll make that a lowercase w. So we're going to have a list item that has fireworks associated with it. Click OK. And nothing's going to happen here, so just click OK. And we're going to create another one based on it. ul.runeli.dw. Okay, so we're going to have one for Dreamweaver. Click OK. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to actually change the background image. 
And the background position for this should be somewhere around uh, 125 pixels. So I'm going to give it a zero on the X and let's move it up. Now, if you're going to move it up on that strip, remember the icon that you're seeing, the fireworks icon you're seeing is right at the top, zero, zero. So we got to come down. So I got to shift up the, uh, the strip. So I'll try minus 125 and see how that works. Click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click inside Dreamweaver. I'm going to get that list. And I'm going to apply the DW class to it. And you can see there's the icon. And I'm going to take the fireworks. And I'm going to apply the fireworks class to the LI. So here we go. Class fireworks. Okay, so now we've got both of these set up. We can now set this up for a hover. And this is what I mean by that is that when I place the cursor or roll the cursor over either of these words in a web page, the icon will change to the darkened state. So let's, uh, let's get that done. And again, we're just going to take the uh, class ul.runeli.dw colon Hover. So we're just adding adding a pseudo class to the to the tag. Here we go. There we go. And with the background, we can now say, look, when I'm over, when I'm hovering in the Dreamweaver icon, the or X position is going to be zero, but the background position is going to be d even higher, minus 190. Click OK. And we're going to do the same thing with the fireworks. So we'll just uh, create it. Now, I'm going to show you a little teacher trick here. In CS 5.5 and others, you can just click on the CSS here, and there's the hover right there. So why don't I just grab that, Command-C or Control-C, copy it, return, paste. And this time, I'm just going to change it to FW. And I'm going to change the position for the fireworks hover to minus 65. Click Refresh. And I can come back to Design View. And let's take a look at how this looks. So to do that, you just come up here to Preview. And let's preview it in Firefox. And it's going to ask me to save it. And I'm going to click Yes. And I'm also going to need to save the CSS. Click Yes. And as you can see, as I roll over, I've got that movement of the CSS sprite. So there you go. There's a technique for creating CSS sprites using Dreamweaver and Fireworks.